You may not know it, but your stern drive has anodes to protect it from galvanic corrosion. Now these anodes can last as little as a year or as long as three or four years if the boat's kept on a trailer. The good news is they're not hard to replace and if you can turn a wrench, you can do this job. As you can see, these anodes are ready for replacement. Now make sure you find all the anodes. On the Alpha 1, there are six. There's one underneath the prop, there's one on the fin here, there's two on the, each trim tab, there's one on the cavitation plate, and there's one way down here on the transom. So anodes come in aluminum, magnesium, or zinc, and we bought a set of aluminum anodes here. Aluminum works best in brackish, fresh, and salt water, so they're usually the all-around best choice. So the right tools, this is an easy job. This anode is only held on by two screws. So now we'll replace this transom anode. Again, it's easy to do, just two screws, one on each side. Always use new hardware. The set will come with brand new stainless steel screws and you want to use those. I'm going to snug these up and there you have it. That was the hardest one. So now let's replace the cavitation plate anode. Just two screws. Take out the last screw and it comes right off. Now you're going to need to wipe this off after you take the anode off. Maybe even wire brush it if it's really bad. And we'll just pop this one back in place. Put the two screws back and snug them down. Next we'll do the fin anode. There's a little cap here that comes off. And underneath that is where the screw is. This one's a piece of cake. One screw and the fin comes out. So putting the fin back on is easy, but notice that this has an Allen wrench instead of a socket. Feed that in there and then just tighten it up. There we go. So the anode under the prop is a little bit harder to get to. We've already taken the nut off. Prop comes off and here's the anode. This one's easy to forget. And I've already taken one screw off. Again, just two screws and comes right off. So to put this anode back on, slip it over the top. We'll snug them down and that's it. So now we'll do these hydraulic ram anodes. We save the easiest ones for last. These are easy to get to, and again, only two screws. And there it is. So now we'll put on this one. Snug these up, and then do the other side, and we're done. So there you have it. We just replaced all the anodes on this stern drive. Now if you took this to a shop, they'd probably charge you at least $150 for this. We spent $45 on the set of anodes, so we just saved $100, and it's an easy job.